Hey, what's going on, crew? It's your boy Sharon, and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. But today I have the Samsung Galaxy A32 right here in my hand. And I've been using it for about a day and a half. So we're going on the second day and I'm on 40% right now on the second day. So a little bit under two days right now. But what I got to say is this thing is really impressive. We get an in-display fingerprint sensor on this device. The hardware is pretty crazy. Um, when it comes to the overall materials, they did actually use plastic on here. So you can feel that definitely feels like plastic, but um, it's pretty solid performance all around. We're getting really good camera setup, 64 megapixel, 8 megapixel for wide, 5 megapixel for portraits, 5 megapixels for macro. So you get a ton of different cameras to play around with. If you're the type of person who likes to take photos like me, I love going outside and taking pictures of everything that I see, documenting that, having some good um, photo quality on this device. So really good device. When it comes to it, I was able to get a lot of good pictures on here. And when it came to the, you know, the video on here, it actually looks really stable for what I was, what I was expecting. So I'll put some photo, some video samples up as well as some photos. I was taking a lot of uh, photos yesterday when I was going out in the park and things like that. But this thing. This has so much features to offer. It has a 90 hertz screen display. So when you're actually scrolling through the display, looking at the screen and looking at the quality, it's gonna be beautiful because you're getting an AMOLED panel with 411 pixels per inch on this guy, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm gonna leave some screen up shots of how my battery performance of this device. But let's just start with the first thing that I was really impressed with. And the overall feel in the hand, it's got these boxy sides which is pretty cool. I really do like how that looks. It's all plastic though. You don't feel any alloy or aluminum or anything like that, but you know, it still feels pretty, pretty premium for it being an all plastic device. No scratches so far. I haven't had a case on here yet. Hopefully we'll get some cases coming in soon for this device. Uh, 20 by nine aspect ratio, like I said, it's gonna be good and we do get, <clears throat> it's it's um we do have face unlock on here i haven't set that up yet so that's another thing that's pretty cool is that they didn't leave out face unlock we get that in display optical fingerprint sensor which is something that's cool and i'm actually going to set up the uh, face lock right now because i didn't do that yet i've been using the in display fingerprint sensor and that thing seems to work really accurately check out my unboxing video if you haven't already you can see i i did this fingerprint I, I, I put the phone upside down and it still worked with the fingerprint on there. So it says, let's see if we can recognize your face. So I'm going to go ahead, put my face inside of this thing. So you can see what I'm talking about. It says, do you wear glasses? I really like how they added that. So yeah, I always wear glasses because I look at lots of technology and screens and that could be take a toll on your eyes for sometimes. So it says, take off your glasses to continue the registration process. So I'm gonna hit continue. And it's all set and it's all finished. So that was easy and painless, really nice. So let's, let's see how quick the facial unlock works on this device now. It's unlocked. You do have to swipe to get it to unlock, but once you swipe to get it unlocked, it's actually really good. 1080 by 2400 pixels um, on here. So I just can't stress how good the display is gonna be on here. I had the Samsung Galaxy A30, 
the original Samsung Galaxy A30. And that phone was actually, is still a beast right now, but we do get Android um, 11 on here out of the box, which is really surprising. They kept the headphone jack. Now this device doesn't have dual speakers, um, but it does have NFC on here. So you can make your mobile payments and things like that. Con not uh, contact payments on, on, which is cool. It's like, whenever I do that, I feel like I'm in a new, like I'm, I'm like way ahead of the, um, it's like next generation stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Stuff you only watch in the movies and things like that. But this device is gonna give you a lot, a really good experience. When it comes to the display, look at that. Really, really, really good looking display. The chin is a little bit bigger than the forehead, as you can see right here, but it's a water drop notch. Kind of wish they did a punch hole, but I, I honestly don't care if it's a punch hole or a cutout because they look the same, you know what I'm saying? The only, only difference is it's not gonna be a full circle. It's gonna just be that U at the top and it's gonna line up with the borders, so. 184 uh, grams of weight when it comes to the um, overall uh, weight of this phone. It kind of feels light in the hand, honestly, to be completely 100% with you. But we do get a really good processing chip when it comes to gaming. We get the G85 on here. Uh, MediaTek processing chip. I never actually used a G85 um, before, so this is my very first time. Daily performance is pretty cool. It's, 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 it hasn't lagged or stuttered yet, but I'm still waiting for that to happen. You will see an occasional screen freeze every once in a while, but nothing that's gonna um, actually make you uh, catch anxiety attacks or anything like that. But what I did notice was that it was really good performance overall when I was using the UI gaming mode on here for the, for the game launcher. Um, you could play really high graphic intensive games. We're gonna get into that in another video, but. I just want to share my overall experience with you with 48 hours later. Um, battery life, I found that it did charge pretty decently quick on this device as well with the 15 watts of fast charging. Um, but let me just double check. You also do have on here the gyroscope sensor, geomagnetic sensor as well. So, you know, something that's pretty cool. We, we, we get, it doesn't tell me if it's, it's 15 watts or if it's, you know, 20 watts, but uh, my, my guess is it's 15 watts charging, uh, which is cool. Uh, a lot of features out on this device, Dolby Atmos, dark mode, eye shield at night when you're reading, really good battery on here. Like I said, I'm at 40% and I've been using it. I only charged it once and that was when I first got it. I wanted to make sure it was at 100%. And so it's been running off that charge ever since, which is cool. So, um, really good build quality. I mean, it's not going to be premium, like premium, premium with the alloy and the metal and the glass, but you get this plastic squared off design, which feels really nice. Type C charging, single firing speaker, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I'm really happy they kept that. And they kept the uh, slot for expansion of the SIM. You can also put SD card in there as well as two SIM, uh, two SD cards, nano, nano cards which is cool. So this thing does have the, the One UI 3.0, Android 11. Um, this thing is gonna get three years of updates, which is crazy to think about. Like, so three years from now, this phone will still be relevant, which is cool. A lot of companies actually shoot themselves in the foot when they um, don't give phones updates because when they first come out, they're really special, really dear to our hearts. And then next thing you know, three months, four, five, six months, months down the road um the phone is like the same as it was when you got it out of the box no updates no software support um, no letter upgrades so this one won't have any of that it'll be really cool double tap to wake um amoled display you know what i'm talking about in display fingerprint sensor so it's just like really um for the a series they're doing a really good job when it comes to the budget price point i'm really surprised and shocked how good these devices are really good cameras as well. So I'm gonna leave some photo samples up on the, the thing for you to see, slow motion mode, wide angle on the portraits, wide angle. When, when you're looking at yourself, you can expand it to a wider angle to get group selfies. Um, flipping it around, I noticed that I only get 1080 uh, frames per second on HD and full HD. So no 4K or anything like that, but 
the A40 or A52 will have the 4K, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't really shoot in 4K that much anyway because it takes up a lot of storage. Comes out the same to me. I really can't tell the difference. And, it, and people only watch videos on YouTube at like 480p right now or 720 minimum. I'm going to get right back with you, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. If you found this video helpful in any way possible, hit the like button as well to show your support and appreciation to the channel. If you didn't like it, you go ahead and dislike the, button, the video. It's still cool. It, it shows me that you, you're still watching anyway and it's still engagement. So I appreciate you too as well. But it's your boy Serrano. I'll get right back with you. Later crew, peace.